Good morning guys, welcome back to Sean R Training. Now today is actually Saturday and I'm freaking excited for a couple of reasons. Um, this week has been a really, 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 really good week in terms of personal growth and kind of just establishing a lot of new routines. Um, for those of you that may know, I'm kind of really spiritual. Um, I use tarot cards. I like to say that I have good self-intuition. I'm always talking to myself. I actually sit in the chair that's right here and I talk to myself in that mirror right there as my like power posing and like all that type of stuff. So this week I've done a lot of personal reflections and I've done lots of journaling and lots of different types of things that I already do. And it's really, 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 really helped me this week by hanging on to the things that I know that I do well, and then by also telling myself, okay, you do well in these areas, but where else can you improve? And I forced myself this week to get in three workouts. I forced myself this three gym workouts because I still did my boot camps and my sun salutations and my yoga by myself. Um, I was also able to go ahead and get my meal prep done this week, which was freaking awesome. And I got all of my goals for all of my clients to come together. So. Not only was I able to get my shit done, I was able to get my other people's shit done. So like, winning. <laughs> um, now, this week, Tuesday, I did a YouTube video with my girl, Amy Peterson, or Peterson, sorry, I always butcher that, um, on stretching and mobility and range of motion and that type of stuff. But I also have been asked several times, Sean, how do I freaking breathe when I'm in the gym doing a workout? <laughs> It is such a hard topic to go over without actually doing it with you face to face in person. So I figured I would do a YouTube video and I would see as to how well my explanation goes. Um, I do have two dumbbells beside me so I can actually demonstrate breath with exercise as well. Um, and I'm going to try and demonstrate breath with exercise in three different modalities. So in training, there's strength, there's um, resistance, and then there's cardiovascular or cardio. So when you are doing a workout of whatever kind, whether it's a high intensity interval session, whether it's strength based for power lifting, whether it's stretching and range of motion, whether it's strict cardio on the treadmill, there are breathing techniques and cues that you can use to help further yourself and further your progress in that type of training stylistic modality. So first one that I'm going to go over is cardio, breathing with cardio. I've used this chart before and again, Paul, I'm so happy that you made this at some point in time because the RPE really, really, really does help. So basically, if you're doing cardio and let's say you're on a treadmill and on a scale of one to 10, you're giving it a seven, okay? So you're giving it about 70% of your total body's capacity to output that energy. Now, you know that you're trying to get yourself to that 70%, but your lungs and your heart are working on a different system because we know that when you're doing cardio, you want to breathe, but you can't take that breath properly. So most of us, when we do our cardio, we're running, we're running, we're running. <laughs> and we take those short, shallow breaths. And that's your body's natural response to controlling your breath so that it can get exactly what it needs. But that type of short, shallow breath only occurs once you found your ho happy place or your homeostasis where your body efficiently can do the work that you're getting it to do. So let's say you're doing cardio and you're pushing yourself to a nine out of 10. This is where you're really pushing it balls to the wall for lack of a better, better quote. Um, so let's say you're full out sprinting, you're sprinting, you're sprinting, you're sprinting, you're sprinting, you're sprinting. <laughs> and now you're hyperventilating. When you get to that breath or into that place with cardio, whether you're intentionally pushing yourself to that nine out of 10, or whether your breath is getting more difficult to do, even at an easier pace because your breath isn't under control. So when you do your cardio, you always wanna be making sure to tell yourself Inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale. When it gets difficult, know that you're pushing yourself and that's totally allowed. Where this chart comes in is you'll be able to rank yourself based off of the details and the description of the chart itself. 
I'm gonna submit a picture of this into the video at this time so you guys can actually see it front facing right. Most of the time you wanna be pushing yourself somewhere to that 13, 14 range here, so somewhat hard. This is where you'll be sweaty, but you can still maintain somewhat of a conversation. For cardio, that's usually where you need to be. Again, everyone does cardio differently, so you could be the balls to the wall type of person, or you could be the, I just wanna do something and be active. Again, now you know how to properly breathe and how to gauge yourself. And when you're doing exercises, strength conditioning, Olympic lifting, anything like that, breath is your center of mass. You will be able to do stronger pushes, stronger pulls, stronger exercises if your breath is working with you. For example, let's say you're doing deadlifts. You're gonna, first of all, make sure that your posture is perfect, shoulders back, chin forward, tight core, tuck that tailbone up, you want a nice flat back. Now, when you do this, you wanna inhale at the top, Brace your core as you go down, and as you come up to the top, exhale through a straw to your glute squeeze. Again, inhale at the top, brace your core all the way down, and as you start coming up, that's when you'll exhale. So, this also applies the exact same way for when you do your bicep curl. So let's say we're doing your hammer curl. When you're ready, you're gonna inhale, do the curl, and on the way down, Exhale through that straw. Inhale, bring the dumbbell up. Exhale, on the way down. So basically you want to exhale when you're extending or lengthening the muscle. Now the terms for that are eccentric and concentric motion or muscle contraction. Now concentric muscle contraction is when the muscle is contracting itself eccentric is when the muscle is releasing but under tension so tensile strength so anytime that you're releasing the contraction and extending the muscle is when you want to be exhaling through that golden thread breath or through the straw deadlifting squats chest presses you want to exhale when you do the actual work so that your core is engaged, your core is doing the work for you, and you're bracing. Now, if you're an Olympic lifter, you know that you don't really ever exhale your breath until you're done your lift. So that is a sport-specific type of modality for breath, and you keep that going for you, boo. But for the other people over here that are into fitness and activity for betterment of health and the holistic practices and I just wanna lose a couple of pounds and I wanna improve my quality of life. Breathing with your exercise on the eccentric phase or the phase where your contraction is loosening off is going to be best suited for you. Now there's one more area where breath comes into it and it's stretching and myofascial releasing. So I'll make sure to reference back to the stretching video that we did on Tuesday with Amy. But basically when you do your stretch, we're gonna do a overhead tricep stretch. So you'll drop that hand in between your shoulder blades, you'll bring your other hand up and over. Now once you get into your stretch or your beginning pose, it basically comes down to you just staying calm. Inhaling and exhaling. My honest opinion, inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth like you're blowing out of a straw. I feel like blowing out of a straw gives you full capability of a full exhale and that will tell you to do a full inhale. When I stick to my nasal breath, there's still air at the bottom of the exhale for me to get rid of. So when I do my stretching, I always do an inhale through my nose and an exhale through my mouth. That's a personal preference. Most people will tell you or some people will tell you that inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose during yoga or stretching is best because it does have the ability to ground you and help you focus on internally processing your breath and connecting the breath through the movement, which is combining holistic practices, which is basically like the voodoo yogi, yoga e stuff. So I know a lot of people have a hard time saying, you know what, I don't stretch and I don't need to. You're wrong, you need to stretch, you need mobility, and you need flexibility. And I get really kind of butt hurt when people tell me they feel like they don't need to stretch. And you know what, I'll go in and I'll crush a workout for 40 or 60 minutes and 
gonna be the best workout ever and I'm not gonna stretch, I'm not gonna cool down, I'm gonna put on my hoodie, I'm gonna walk out that door, I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna stretch, and then I'm gonna sit on my couch and do fucking nothing. So, calling you on your shit. If you're telling me that you're stretching when you go home, I know you're not. <laughs> Don't tell me that you are either, cause it's just, yikes. I appreciate the people that actually do it, and it's part of their lifestyle, but if you were brand new to the gym and you're gonna come and you're gonna be like, Sean, you're gonna kick my ass for 60 minutes and I'm gonna have so much fun and don't worry about stretching with me. I know how to stretch, I'm gonna stretch when I get home. You full of shit. <laughs> so yes, stretching, as you guys know, is my number one thing and I would not have the quality of life, the mobility, the flexibility, or the willingness to help people if I was consistently sore. Being sore is not fun, being in pain is not a comfortable feeling, so why would you train in a modality or in a type of setting that consistently makes you more sore. So when you're working out, either strength wise, cardiovascularly wise, or stretching and cooling down, breath is the center of what you need to focus on. Controlling your breath for your eccentric contraction, controlling your breath and cardio, telling yourself to inhale and exhale, whether you're getting up to your highest point in cardio or whether you're cooling down from your hardest point in cardio, always telling yourself, breathe, breathe, Sean, damn it, breathe. And then stretching, you guys have already gotten the ramble on stretching, so when you do, guys do stretch, I suggest inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Now that is going to be this week's second video, and I guess they basically do really, really tie well together. Um, next week's videos have not been set or planned, I have no intention for those videos. I have the time set aside on my schedule to come up with a idea. So if you guys have any ideas for me, please comment them down below and uh, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to hit that subscribe like button. And again, I'm always up for a private message, but if you feel comfortable, leave a comment down below and I will get back at you. With that being said, y'all have a great Saturday. <laughs>